What is up, peeps? Today we are back at our big account, what we're calling the Box Factory, for some more vending action and fun. Join us. Let's see what happens. Yeah. So a little recap update. So the soda machine we have is a Dixie Narco 3000. Um, and then our snack machine, we're running an AMS 39. And then both have the NIAX, uh touchscreen credit card readers on them. And we've been selling some product. Kind of interesting driving down the road and seeing, uh, seeing the pot shops with this being a legal state. Hey, it's there. So we're off to the grocery store to get some more pop for the pop machine. Today we're going to be stopping by our local Myers, or one of the local Myers rather. Um, we've noticed that the local stores have some great deals on pop until hopefully at some point we can get into one of the bottlers. Been trying to get into Coca-Cola, have some calls into them, waiting for an appointment. So hopefully we can start ordering mad quantities of pop. But until then, the grocery stores have been amazing with it. All right, back at the box factory. And we also have like a little surprise at the end here, um, a little addition at the box factory, if you will. So we were really hit hard just for a couple of days. They really decimated things, as you can see here. Uh, so the monster, we went up to three rows on the regular monster, took out uh, the monster white. I'm glad we did. That wasn't really selling. We only sold two in about a week, but uh, monster's been going through. Now we've also noticed that we've been selling like really super strong with some orange Fanta and the Sprite game has been awesome as well. So I think we're actually looking to double up both of those rows and add another row of water. So to accommodate for that, what we're planning on doing is doubling up our bang and the rain. So bringing those down to two rows, so a total of four rows amongst those energy drinks. So here we are at the snack machine. As you can see, some things flew off the shelf, just like with the soda machine. Um, our Cheez-Its seem to be doing really well. Red Doritos, nacho cheese ones. And then the beef jerky, when we first stopped in there, I think like there was such a run on it. We ran out of it and the store was out of it. Everything was out of beef jerky, but we have more in. They still seem to love it. Um, also, something that always sells really, really well for us is pastries. Um, and it's funny because we go through like different waves of like what people enjoy having. It's like one week or one couple of days, it's cinnamon rolls. And then there's a couple of days where like it's a run on honey buns and then bear claws. So it's kind of neat to see like what people like and to also get into like a rhythm of knowing what we are going to need to stock. So as you can see, we have, we've filled it all back up and we're hoping that uh, we get some really good sales. So yes, this uh, location wanted us to bring in a cold food machine and try it out. They were really, really geeked about it. So we actually found a great price on a cold food machine really close to us, worked out perfectly, uh, brought it over, got it all set up, and we have a few things in there to, to test, and we actually have a couple other things ordered to try out. So hopefully this machine does pretty good for us. We're excited to see how we do. Now we're going to collect some money, get home, and count it. All right, peeps, we're gonna start counting this, this cash money of all. So first off right here, we have uh, some money coming in from the AMS snack machine. This haul is gonna be from five shifts of work. So encompassing about two and a half days of work here. And the AMS with tons of change. 30. $30. And then we will count the change up. $12 in change. $30 in cash for a grand total of $42. AMS, woo! And now it is time to see what our collection brings us after two and a half days or five shifts on the Dixie Narco 3000 soda slash pop, as we say in Michigan machine. So we did have, um, as we went over, some sold out rows and extra stuff to put in and all sorts of goodiness 
for the sellout situations, which of course make the money. So this is one of the, uh, I think this might be the biggest stack we've ever gotten before out of uh, the Dixie Marco 3000. Definitely seems to be doing a lot better than the snack machine, but the snack machine is still doing really, really good. Um, I don't know. It's always cool to uh, get like the fives again after watching so many of the videos and seeing people with fives in there. And I'm like, come on, you really like are putting fives in like vending machines, but you're getting into it more. I mean, there's, there's quite a few fives floating around out there. Kind of a cool thing. Hashtag cash business. 99 dollars. 99 altogether. Altogether, 99 and ones. I still oh, do fives. Oh, ones. Okay. All right, we had ninety-nine dollars in ones. Now let's count the fives and see what we had. Fifty dollars in fives. One forty-nine total, and so this is just our cash pull for two days, uh, five shifts on the Dixon Narco three thousand and the AMS thirty-nine snack machine. Uh, credit cards are extra. All right, guys, let's get you some totals. So the credit cards were a total of $406.50. Of that, the AMS 39 brought in $85.25, and the Dixie Narco 3000 had $321.25. Combine that with a cash of $191, and we have a grand total of $597.50. All right, people, with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you're new in town, please consider subscribing. We would love it. And until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye. Vending machine kitty, vending machine kitty. He's on the back of the couch being a vending machine kitty. You can't see the other one because it's on my shoulder like some sort of weird different monkey type kitty or something but yeah vending machine kitty and the other vending machine kitty thanks for watching bye bye